Kazakhstan's challenge began at home to Austria. Mikhail Kukushkin's recent hip injury would trouble him during the warm-up. Andre Golibev would step up to lead the team. Austria made the quarter-finals last year, losing to eventual finalist Spain. Golibev had never lost a Davis Cup singles match at home, but made a shaky start. Andreas Heider Maurer looking the more settled of the two. Golibev grew in confidence, though, and took a two sets to love lead. The world number 187 defied his ranking, much to the frustration of the Austrian. Thanks to Golibev, Kazakhstan were off to the best possible start. Evgeny Korolev didn't get off to the best of starts against Jürgen Meltzer as the Austrian eased into a 5-2 lead in the first set. But the Kazakh hit back to win four games in a row to send the set into a tie-break, which he went on to win. With Meltzer shell-shocked, Korolev took full advantage, playing some blistering high-risk tennis to take the second set. The momentum was with Korolev, who wrapped up an impressive straight sets victory. The third rubber saw Andre Golibev and Yuri Shukin take on Julian Knoll and Alexander Payer. And the Austrians went for it right from the word go. It was clear the hosts weren't experienced doubles players, and the Austrians exploited their weaknesses. The Kazakh pair kept fighting, and in the second set gave their fans something to cheer about. But it didn't last long, as the Austrians turned on the style. Nolan Payer sealing a straight-sets victory as Austria lived to fight another day. As in Saturday's doubles, things didn't start well for Golubev. Jürgen Meltzer claiming the first set in the reverse singles. The Kazakh number two got off to the perfect start in the next set, breaking Meltzer and going on to level the match at a set apiece. The initiative was with the home player, producing moments of brilliance to steer the match in his favour. Golibev, roared on by the home crowd, served out the match with minimum of fuss and booked Kazakhstan's place in the Davis Cup quarter-finals.